Everybody, Coach PJ Street here with Revive Fitness Systems. Uh, I want to tackle the topic, a very important topic, of how do you maintain your weight loss long term? Because the reality is, uh, in the United States and worldwide for that matter, we really don't have a weight loss problem. We have a weight maintenance problem. Um, we probably lose more weight in the United States than um, can possibly be quantified. You know, probably millions and millions of pounds a year. But the problem is, is that the very vast majority of people who lose weight uh, in the 95% range put it all back on um, within about three years and then some. So the question is, how do we keep the weight off long term? Okay, because that's really the important question to ask. Now, I could go into, number one, you have to look at the methods that you use to lose weight. Are they sustainable? Were they sustainable? Um, and if you gain all your weight back after losing a dramatic amount of weight, uh, the answer is, you know, the methods that you use to lose the weight um, were not sustainable. Uh, therefore, your results are not going to be maintainable. So it really starts with using uh, evidence-based, flexible, sustainable methods to lose the weight to begin with. But that's an entire, entirely another video. Um, so let's assume that being said that you've lost a great deal of weight um, and you want to know how do you keep this off long term. Well, I created... Um, kind of a, a year long zoom out view of how you do that. So I've come up with this uh, 110 days to be loose with your nutrition. Okay. And again, this is for people who have lost a lot of weight and want to keep it off. This, this will not work um, very well if you're in the goal acquisition phase um, and still trying to reach your goal. But let's assume you've gotten to your goal, you've gotten to the body composition and the body weight you want to be, and you want to maintain it within a range. What you're looking at here, in my opinion, um, and I came up with it, is how you realistically can maintain your weight loss long term while also still enjoying all of the special occasions, all the holidays, um, you know, all of, all of the, the true special events that come up year round. So if someone can limit themselves to what you're looking at here, these 110 days during the year, all right, this is 30% of the calendar year. If you can limit yourself to all of these special occasions, holidays, uh, whatever, um, you're going to be fine. Now, the caveat is the other 70% of the year, you are going to do what got you the results to begin with. Okay, what got you there will keep you there. Uh, and you have to do that a larger percentage of the time. So outside of these days that we're looking at here, and I've accounted for basically everything. Now, obviously, I couldn't create a chart for every possible scenario and everybody's personal religious beliefs and everybody's preferences. Um, but you can plug and play and, and add other categories if you want or replace categories. But this is, this is basically every conceivable holiday, possible special event, special occasion I could come up with. So if you can limit your loose nutrition days to these, you're going to be fine. And the other 70% of the year, in my opinion, the best way to ensure that you maintain all of the, the results and, and not lose all the hard work that you put in would be to track your calorie intake, okay, honestly, accurately, and precisely the other 70% of the year, all right? This is a very broad suggestion. It's not going to fit everybody, but if you multiply your current body weight, okay, by 10 to 12 calories per pound, I'd probably say 10 to 11 is going to give you a little bit more of a fudge factor. 
Okay, so let's say somebody has, you know, dieted down to 150 pounds. They started at 180 pounds. They've dieted down to 150. If 70% of the year, okay, so all of the days outside of what you're looking at here, you keep your calorie intake to, you know, 1,500 to 1,750 calories a day. You're tracking your calories accurately, honestly, precisely on an app like Nutrition IX Track or MyFitnessPal or Fat Secret. If you're willing to do that work 70% of the year, these 110 days that you're looking at, you can be loose. You could be in a 1,000 calorie surplus above and beyond what you would need to maintain your body weight, okay? And you would, you would maintain all of your results that you work so hard for, okay? But you have to be willing 70% of the time to live the fitness lifestyle, track your nutrition intake, okay? And cut yourself off at a certain number of calories each day. If you can do that, you can enjoy all of this stuff, okay? Um, and again, 30% of the year, that, that's, if that's not enough, enough fun for you, all right, I don't know what to tell you. That's what it's going to take to maintain your results, all right? This, what you're looking at here is not being in diet prison. This is the fitness lifestyle. This is how people who are fit year-round operate. Maybe not this specifically, but if you wanted a roadmap to know exactly when you can cheat on your diet, here, here you have it. Okay, so again, 70% of the year, all of the days outside of these occasions and events and vacations and whatever else. I mean, I have categories in here for drinks with your friends. I have 21 days a year to where they're wild card for whatever, for whatever reason you want to be loose with your nutrition. I have two weeks of uh, vacation. Um, I have, if, you, if you're a football fan, I have 20 football Sundays you can be loose. And then all of the normal holidays, etc. cetera. Um, all of your kids' birthdays, spouses' birthdays, anniversaries, anything you can think of, all right? So any day outside of these, you're tracking your calories, you're staying in a slight calorie deficit, which again, probably about 10 to 11 calories per pound of body weight. Um, if you can do that, you can enjoy all of this. Now, obviously, if you indulge in one of these events or occasions or, or holidays or whatever, the next day and maybe the couple days after, your scale weight is going to spike up a little bit. But if you get back on track with the normal fitness lifestyle way of eating, okay, your scale weight is going to come back down. All right, so on average, you're going to maintain all the results you work so hard for within a range of a, of a couple pounds year round. Yes, it's going to bump up if you go on a seven day vacation and eat and drink a lot. But if you get back and, you know, for a full week after, you're back on point, you're eating in a slight deficit, you're tracking your intake, honestly, accurately, precisely, your scale weight's going to come right back down. Okay, that's how you do it. All right, and I've come up, let me bring this up. I've come up with this little tracker here. Um, I give this to all of my clients in my, uh, my coaching business. We actually track this. Now, again, this is for somebody who has already gotten the results. If you have not already gotten to where you wanted to be, you cannot engage in all of this. But you could probably engage in um, a lot of it. All right, maybe, the, again, this is 70% of the year, what, what I'm scrolling through. Um, if you could limit it to, um, I'm sorry, this is 30% of the year, what I'm sc scrolling through. If you could limit it to 15 to 20% of this, okay, um, 15 to 20% of the days of the year, you you could make continue to make really, really good progress. But... This assumes that you've got already gotten to where you wanted to be and you want to maintain it. You have more leeway with that. Okay. So we literally, I have my clients, um, you know, let's say, you know, let, let's say theoretically this starts 
um, January 1st and you're going to you're going to map out your calendar year, right? Um, you're off track and loose. You're not tracking your food intake. You're having, you know, food and drinks, cheat meals, whatever on New Year's and New Year's Day, right? You would just type in a two. All right. And you can come up with this type of thing on your own, by the way. It's obviously very simple. Um, and it would autom the tracker, it would automatically subtract the days. So now you have 108 days left. Okay. Maybe two weeks uh, after the first of the year, you decide to get together with a good friend for some drinks and a dinner. You don't want to track your food intake. You're not worried about calories that day. You type in a one. It subtracts from the total of 110. You got 107 days left for the rest of the year to be loose. Maybe two weeks later, you go out with a buddy again for drinks and a dinner. You update that to two. Now you have 106 days left, right? Um, maybe the week after that, it's uh, your spouse's birthday and you go out and celebrate and you don't want to worry about being meticulous with your nutrition. Type that in. Subtracts it again. Now you have 105 days. This is how you do it. Okay. Again, any day not listed here and not listed in that infographic that I just showed. All right. You are on point with your nutrition and you have to be willing to track your intake on those days. All right. That's how you maintain your weight loss and your results year round. So I would encourage you if you've lost a lot of weight before and you've gained it all back and you didn't have an exit strategy from your diet, okay, um, number one, hopefully you used a method to lose the weight that's actually sustainable that you can do for the rest of your life. All right, that's not, but again, that's another video. But I would encourage you if you've lost a lot of weight in the past but have gained it back, you start to think in terms of a macro zoom out level and look at your year like this and be willing to do that work. Okay, again, you get 110 days here to be loose. All right, the rest of the year, all right, okay, 70% of the year, you're tracking your intake, you're setting a calorie limit and not going over it, you're being meticulous with that, you're training hard, you're moving a lot. Okay, if you do that, you can be real loose and not have to worry about it and do all this guilt-free and be able to maintain your results within a few pounds year round. That's how you do it. Okay. So I encourage you to think about that, implement it. Um, if you want to drop me a comment below, uh, if you have any thoughts on this, please do. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share if you can. Uh, and I think that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in.